It was Agatha Christie who reminded us in her book, The Moving Finger, that we owe most of our great inventions, and most of the achievements of genius to idleness, either enforced or voluntary. So the next time that you feel bored, view it as an opportunity to accomplish something worthwhile. That is what others have done, on a few different April 8ths, throughout history, and that is just what today's story is about. Johann Salamo Christoph Schweiger was born in 1779. He was a German physicist who invented the galvanometer in 1820. It is a device to measure the strength of an electric current. He developed the principle from Ersted's experiment, which showed that current, in a wire, will deflect a compass needle. Schweiger realized that he could produce a greater deflection by winding an insulated wire around a conductor. He named this instrument a galvanometer in honor of Luigi Galvani, whom we have already covered. Perhaps you will remember him as the frog leg guy. Galvani was also the professor who gave his arch rival, Alexandra Volta, the idea for the first battery. This in turn helped Thomas Seebeck invent a coil that became the loudspeaker, which is how you are able to hear today's post if you are watching the video version. In 1732, David Rittenhouse was born. While he wore many different hats, mainly he was an instrument maker, surveyor, mathematician, and astronomer who was the first person to see and record his observation of the atmosphere of Venus in 1769. Rittenhouse was the first person to put spider silk as crosshairs in the focus of his telescope. He was professor of astronomy at the University of Pennsylvania. Benjamin Franklin and Thomas Jefferson consulted him on many occasions and on many different topics too. Pyotr Leonidovich Kapitsa, a Russian physicist who was born in 1894, made considerable contributions to low-temperature physics. For this, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1978. But the thing that Kapitsa did that impacts us the most today is his work with microwave generators that both cook our food and help us communicate better and faster. Encourage turning boredom into innovations.